Hey, Jolene, thanks so much for sending in a question. Uh, Jolene asks, she says, I'm frustrated because I find it difficult to get auditions and an agent. How do I know if things are a scam or legit? And what do I do when I don't hear back? Also, how do I put together a reel if I don't have great footage? Well, this is a good question. There's lots of parts to this question. Um, and so I'm gonna give you a brief overview, answering some of the key points in your question. And I'm also gonna include some links to articles that go into much greater depth on the most important parts of your question, okay? So first off, uh, just know that if you're submitting and you're not hearing back to things, like if it's an audition or whatever, it just probably means that you didn't look right for the part. So you might wanna look carefully at the kinds of roles that you're submitting for and submit for ones that you feel like whatever picture or footage you have kind of most represents. So if you're, let's say 16, you probably shouldn't be submitting for roles of like lawyers or something who are probably in their like 30s or late 20s or older because you just look too young. You might be able to submit for student type parts, right? So that's one of the most important things that a lot of actors don't get when they're first starting is the importance of submitting for roles that you would look perfect for. Now, beyond that, let's talk about the other things in your question. So um, Google is your friend when it comes to finding out about scams. So I generally recommend that you search the director or the producer's name and you can type the word scam next to it and see what comes up. Um, and in general, like, you know, usually our brains give us like warning signs when something just feels off. So pay attention to those. Like if things are unprofessional, there's bad spelling or it looks too good to be true or just something about the project looks weird or off, um, you know, do a bit of digging and keep your guard up. Uh, one other general piece of advice around scams is that you should never really pay people in this industry directly who are, you know, talent agents or managers. Those types of people, uh, they generally will submit you for things and then whatever you book, you're gonna get a percentage of. The only people that you should be paying directly are like photographers for your headshots or real production companies if you're shooting a scene and they need to you know, charge you for that. Or, uh, well, auditions for real projects should be paying you, so you should never be paying a production company to be in their film, just as a aside. But if you're like, hey, I have a script and I wanna turn this into a project for my reel, then a company might charge you for that and that's okay. Other things might be like classes, like acting coaches and you know different things like that. Those you're gonna obviously be paying for, but agents and managers who normally charge commission, they should not be charging you directly. So now, where do you find auditions? Well, you can go on websites like Backstage. Um, you can create a profile, uh, Actors Access, Casting Networks. Those are different websites that you can create free or paid profiles. And then they will be posting auditions and you'll see all the audition opportunities and you can just submit yourself for the ones that you think that you're right for, okay? Um, now, the three most critical things that you need to be able to show casting directors that you're right for the part so that you actually do hear back is generally gonna be a headshot that shows what you look like currently, okay? So don't use like an overly retouched photo or something that doesn't look like you. Um, a resume that shows your experience and then also a reel or some sort of footage, okay? The most important thing out of those though is some sort of photo that shows what you look like and then at least one clip that allows people to see like whether you can act and to hear what you sound like on camera, okay? You do not need a professional demo reel when you're first starting. I mean, if you can afford it and you wanna go pay a company to shoot footage for your reel, that's fine. I still don't think it's necessary, especially if your acting technique isn't on point. I can't tell you how many people shot with us. Our company is called actorscreenershoot.com. Um, there's been a lot of people who used to shoot, this was years ago before I was really good at advising people when I was first starting my business. People would shoot with me and they just weren't really good actors. Now we provide like coaching on set and other things, but 
if your acting is off, no amount of great footage is going to help you get in the door with casting directors or agents. Okay, so my candid suggestion to you is that you don't really need a professional reel if you're just starting out you can just record yourself doing a few simple monologues and you can upload a photo of yourself onto one of those casting profiles even if it's not a professional high level headshot you can do that when you're ready once you're starting to you know get the process and you've booked a couple of unpaid you know you start by doing unpaid student projects and everything so I'm attaching a couple of links below, all right? Uh, one is an article on how to find auditions. I think that this will be super helpful for you. Just read through that and implement whatever you can. Another one is how to get an agent. I don't personally think that you're ready for an agent yet. If you're still struggling to get auditions, you should be getting somewhat consistent auditions before you're ready for an agent. Um, another one would be the ultimate guide on becoming an actor and that just kind of gives you a general overview of what the process looks like um, no matter how high in your career you want to go. Uh, the ultimate guide to actor headshots and the ultimate guide to demo reels. Those two articles are really good so that you understand what goes into your headshot and demo reel. All right. So I hope that this information helps you. Uh, please make sure to subscribe and click the bell to get notifications when I upload future videos like this. And thank you again for taking the time to email me with a question.